So today I was playing the Pyromancer class, and I may have used an unconventional way to play the Pyromancer class. It involved a certain item called Pandemonium. I'm trying to stack up poison as well as heat. But hey, check it out. Let me know what you think of the build. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and jump into some ranked games and see what we can do with Pyromancer class here. First of all, healing herbs on sale. A broom as well for two. Customer card I will also take. I'm actually going to reroll here because we have chances of getting a rare item. I will be taking the frame ban and I will be taking these blueberries. And I'm going to reserve the whetstone here. And I will reroll once more. We could actually just take a flame. But yeah, these are items I really, really want here. We we'll continue on for now. Our build is going to be a little bit garbage here, but it's not going to be too bad here. I believe we're actually going to be able to outpace this. Zucker Dave, no sustain, no damage mitigation. However, I could be eating my words. It's coming too close. And the stamina consumption actually ruined us here. I had to eat my words. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. We're going to be taking these whetstones for sure. What we really needed was a banana here. I'm actually going to reserve all these. And I'm going to move on for now. We could run into the same issue. We're going to begin a frying pan reaper class here, which is going to be a lot of damage output, even though they have only one food item. Yeah, the stamina consumption on our frying pan is dealing a lot for us. What we really need is a banana here to start. However, that's what's letting us down. However, we're going to be getting a pandemonium here. We're going to be crafting up the burning sword. Whatever pandemonium gone. We might actually go down another life here. So we'll just see how this goes. Although this is a hammer. No sustain. Some damage mitigation with their leather armor. A lot of storage. This could be good for us. However, still might not be. They got a big crate on us and that's going to win the fight for them. Next hit they win. Yeah, that big crate actually won that fight for them. Also, we weren't making the best use of our burning blade here. Let's switch this around just a little bit so we're actually making full use of it. We're going to be taking the leather bag and we are going to be taking the chili pepper here. Let's add these in. So at least we have some flame generation. We're down to two lives already, which is, to be honest, not terribly great here. And we have a pandemonium on the pyromancer. Is this going to even be good here? We'll see so far. DPS of it is 7 to 9. Burn Blade is 4 to 6. And our stamina consumption is a lot better though. A lot better here. We have some options now. There's the banana I wanted. There is a shield of valor. With a leather armor. We could go for a crazy, crazy damage with the sun shield here. Maybe we should take it for some shish stain here. That is the banana I'm going to be taking for now. I'm going to switch things around just a little bit. I'm actually going to reserve the Shield of Valor. Should we go for Chili Goobert? Chili Goobert might not be too bad here. I think we are going to go for it. Going to let go of the leather armor then. I'm going to switch this around just like so. We have a bit of a problem doing it this way. If we go this way... This is a little bit better. However, we're not making full use of our flames. If we're able to switch you around. But unfortunately, we can't. We're going to roll with this. We'll see how this feels. However, we still only have two lives left. So we're going to begin a Reaper. A Ranger class. I don't know why I said Reaper. They're being very greedy with their lucky pigs. However, they're setting up for the Hammer Dagger build. Which is going to be insane for them. However, we are Poison Stack and Pyromancer so far. And it's actually going not too bad. Nice, we've got another chili here. Which I'm extremely happy about getting. That's a lump of coal. And a letter bag and a mana orb here. Well, first of all, I'm going to be taking the letter bag for sure. I'm going to be taking the coal as well. I'm going to be being able to stack up that heat generation as much as possible. And I'm going to add in our flames for now. It's your better setup for this. Yeah, there could always be a better setup. It's our setup we are going to change. Not really. We want our food items triggering on our pandemonium. We want our burning sword to be triggered with our pandemonium. 
We're going to continue on. I don't exactly know if we want the Shield of Valor. But we're going to keep it there for anyway. Going to begin a Berserker with the Cap Resilience. So they're going to be taking a lot less damage. We're going to be trying to stack up Poison. We're also dealing damage. Is it going to be enough here? Looking like so, actually. It's been actually kind of working out a little bit here. We're burning coal. I will be taking this Blue Brace for now. Shield of Valor, I think we're actually going to have to let it go. I know I've actually had it in our inventory here for two rounds, but we'll have to leave it for now. Crypto Crystal, we could actually go for another Pandemonium. For double scaling poison here. That's also a flute, which I'm kind of interested in taking here. And I think we are going to take it, actually. Let's have another flame for it. I'd much like to have it like here. We'll see if I'm able to fix this around here. So I've moved some things around. We have a Chili Goobert here with a Burning Sword. The Pandemonium over here only having two triggers, which is kind of sad, really. But then we have extra triggers with our Banana over here with our Flute here. For some sustain, some stamina generation, however. We don't exactly need the stamina generation. Our Chili Goobert is going to be our main source of survival here. With the Banana and the Flute. Being kind of like your spore items here. Gonna begin a ranger class with a lot of DPS with the bows and the hero sword. Are we gonna be able to scale them? With the poison, actually, yeah. It's been going surprisingly well here. And now we get a subclass. Back to three lives. Kind of nice. And which should we take here? We could actually take the burning banner to protect our debuffs on our opponents from being cleansed. Might not be too bad here. Or should we go for trend fire increasing? Our heat generation, which in turn increases the amount. Yeah, I think we're going to take the friendly fire, which in turn increases the amount of poison we inflict on our opponents here. Going to be taking this draconic orb, and I will reroll here another draconic orb. We are definitely, definitely going to have to take here. We're going to be taking the friendly fire, and we're going to place it over in this direction, like so. Let's add in our Draconic Orb. As well, we're going to add this down here, actually. Customer card, we actually can't properly fit in. Healing Orbs. Bit of an issue here. We could also take a mana because this requires mana to gain heat. So we're going to reserve this as well. We'd honestly have a better time switching all this around. We'll be back in one second while I do that. So yeah, we move some things around. We have our banana, we have our chili pepper, we have our blueberries, all here being a trigger for a pandemonium. We have a hero sword, our burning sword here, touching the pandemonium as well as being a trigger for our chili goobert. Then we have our friendly fire over here, also triggering off our chili goobert, with our blueberries also being the next trigger on our chili goobert. Then we have our flute here. We'd actually rather have it here, but it'll have to do here. Then we have some items that we can't actually use. So if we sell these, that's four or five. That is seven. We could just straight up buy the mana orb here, and I think we are going to take it. We're going to continue on for now. Is this poison stack in Pyromancer going to be good enough? We're going to begin a Cryomancer. They're going to have a lot of damage, and they're going to be increasing the crit chance. However, we're going to be stacking up a lot of heat here. And actually... We didn't stack up quite a lot of poison, however, we are doing a lot of damage. All the same here. Well, definitely the Draconic Garb. Draconic Garbs are insanely good. We're going to be taking this. Fanny pack for now. We're going to switch that around. Add in another flame. And we're going to add in a mana orb here, actually. We can't exactly do that, because we need it to be triggered. Unless we go like this. And then... This is not in a terribly good position for us. We'll have it like this for now. I'm going to sell one flame to reroll here. It's a lightsaber. Lightsaber with a corrupted crystal. We could actually remove the burning sword here. However, it is increasing our DPS on our pandemonium. So it might actually be better than the lightsaber here. More blueberries for more mana stacking. I don't think we want it. We'll just move on for now. We also need to add in another food item over here and here. To be extra triggers on our pandemonium. 
With increase in the heat generation, we increase our food items activation. So we could actually stack up more bison than the Reaper class is able to stack up here. We've got a guaranteed crit switch kind of garb. Is it going to be enough? That was close, actually. That was a bit too close here. We could take a ruby egg here. We could risk it. We do have the lives for it. I'm not sure if we can do it, actually. We have to wait another round to even just buy the egg. I'm going to reserve it and I'm going to continue looking. Phoenix is also really good. So maybe we could lose the ruby egg. If we have this phoenix in. For now, we don't have the sustain actually for the phoenix. So we will end up taking ourselves out here and using the baller flames. So it could actually be a hindrance to us. I'm actually just going to take the ruby egg. There's also another mana orb. Do we want another mana orb? Not entirely sure if we actually really, really do here. Also pineapple for the triggering of our pandemonium here, which might not be too bad all the same. You want a pineapple for spike generation and some sustain, or you rather some blueberries for some mana. I'd rather actually get some more chili peppers. I'm going to save our gold and move on for now. Is this going to be strong enough? We'll just have to see. We're going to begin a frying pan, so their DPS is going to be really, really low here. That's going to be really good for us. I believe we definitely should be able to take out this opponent here. This Berserker, we've stacked up a decent amount of poison. We're generating a lot of heat. And yeah, we actually outskilled him here. Another Draconic Garb. Another Chili as well. But first of all, we're going to be taking the Ruby Egg here. And we're going to be taking the Chili as well. Draconic Garb, we're going to have to reserve as well. And we're going to have to reroll. Looking for some storage here. And we'll actually have to sell some things for it. Main reason, we're going to have to fit in our ruby egg. Like so. Next up, if we had one more slot here, that would be perfect. And actually, we do. Just like that. Then we can add this back in here. That is going to be extremely perfect for us. We'll see how crazy this goes for us now. Just debating on whether we want to corrupt the crystal. I actually don't think we do. We could actually use it to finish off enemies. But yeah. We'll go with this for now. We'll see how this entails. We could be losing here. Because of Ruby Egg. However, they're an anvil user with the Busted Blade. They have massive damage to us. They're in battle rage, so they're going to be attacking a lot faster. Are we going to be able to pace them here? Actually, yeah. This has been working out quite well, actually. Surprisingly well. The kind of garb. Another flute. None of this. We'll keep going. That's a leather bag. That's another flame soul for a letter bag. We're going to put it in down here and have this near our friendly fire. That means we have nine guaranteed crits as each draconic orb gives three guaranteed crits. We stack up to nine, which is going to be extremely awesome for us. Mana orb I didn't want to take. We're going to begin a mana reaper class with the snake, a venom monster. They're going to be stacking up poison. Are we going to be able to stack up more poison than there? We'll just have to see. They do reflect some debuffs back at us. However, we also have DPS. Let's check the logs here very quickly. With our pandemonium and our burning sword. And our poison. Compared to our opponent here, yeah, we're dealing a lot more DPS. Then we check the heals. Chitty Goobert is out healing us. Is our most healing, I actually should say. Versus their Goobert. Yeah, so we should definitely finish here. We have more damage. And we have more healing. We're just able to outpace him here. And awesome, another Draconic Orb. That's basically most of the things we're looking for here. You want a pineapple? We could actually remove the banana. Because our stamina consumption isn't too much of an issue here. For a pineapple here, which triggers faster. I think it will, actually. But it does require more storage here. We can also have this here. And then we actually want to craft up an Obsidian Dragon. Which means we're going to be losing one of the kind of But we are going to be getting something a lot stronger. Phoenix has come back again, but we're not going to take it. We're just going to move on for now. We're going to begin a Poison Goobert Hexblade Reaper class. They're actually doing a lot of damage to us. We don't have as much sustain to come back. However, we're answering back. It's coming out. No, they actually bet us here. Yikes. Down to two lives. 
We got ourselves an Obsidian Dragon. Which is going to be extremely awesome for us. We're going to be getting another Chili. That is another Ruby Egg. I'm actually going to take it here. More storage. Yeah, we're definitely going to need this as well. Problem is, we're going to have to try to fit this in. Are we going to be able to do it? We're going to sell a banana and we're going to sell one heat. We're going to be taking this for sure. We have to do a little bit of a move in here. We have to leave this space up here. Problem is, we have two chili goobers beside each other, making them not as good. I'd rather have this here, however. This will have to do for now anyway. If we want to craft up another obsidian dragon, we're going to have to have this ruby egg in as soon as possible. And not much else has changed. We got our pandemonium still here. We moved, our, we moved our fanny pack around like so. And yeah. Friendly fire situation is still like this. Mana orb we could actually move to this position. Might actually be better. For some mana generation. We'll continue on for now. We hopefully should be able to get through here. Although we are going to begin a cryomancer. With a lot of sustain with sun armor. So this could actually be terrible for us. Yeah, they literally countered us. With increase in frost on us. Gonna reserve our reroll here. We'll be taking another leather bag. Some more blueberries that we'll actually take. Let's continue looking for some items here. None of this stuff. Stamina sack. Not gonna take draconic orb. Yeah, definitely. Definitely just looking for draconic orbs. Are we gonna lose here or are we gonna win? That is the real question. We honestly didn't get a whole lot stronger here. We we'll continue on for now. We're gonna go again. Excalibur. Berserker. With a moon armor. This is gonna be a pretty strong build. Because they're gonna be stacking up max life. However, we are also gonna be stacking up heat. So, we could be actually countering each other here. Actually, no, we are in the lead. We're fully in the lead. Yeah, that poison stacked up quite nicely here. But yeah, we managed to survive one life. We should honestly just take our eight points and run. But hey, let's continue on. We're about to get a, another obsidian dragon going here. That's also a heart container for some regeneration. I will be taking it. I'm going to be taking this funny pack as well. And we're going to move that down like so. Set in a flame and let's reroll here. Can't really do much else. So we continue on for now. Gonna begin a ranger class. A lot of spikes stacking. This could be an issue here. We got a guaranteed crit. They're stacking up a lot of poison on us. However, our DPS is actually going crazy here. It's gone crazy. We're on heals. Obsidian Dragon has been doing a lot of work for us. Their poison is doing a lot of work for them though. And their spikes. But yeah, our DPS is outscaling their DPS by the looks of it. Just by a quick glance of it. And yeah. Absolutely smashing. Sun armor as well. We could actually really, really take care. However, it does consume. Mana usage. We're going to switch this back right now. Better have this in here and like so. That's pretty perfect here. Going to be removing the potion belt. We are going to be taking this. We're going to be adding this in. We are going to be buying this. But we are actually going to be crafting up a moon armor here. We're going to be moving this for now. And adding in our obsidian dragon here. As for the heart container, we're going to have a bit of an issue. But we are going to reroll here. Maybe even reroll again. We're going to want this stamina sec. This is one of the main components to have in our build. Because it stacks up regeneration. We're going to be stacking up a lot of regeneration if we're stacking up heat. However. The problem lies in. Getting to fit it in. We had to move around some things here. We had to move basically all this section right here. Just up a little bit. We kind of lost this little space here, however. That should be okay for now. We still have our Chili Goobert in the center. Obsidian Dragons all touching the Burning Blade. And the Burning Sword here. With our Pandemonium here, stacking up all the poison with our food situation here. Stacking up all the heats. We've only two more rounds to survive, and we have two lives left. Let's continue on to see if we can actually survive here. I'm going to begin Excalibur. 
Burning Banner. They're gonna have a lot of life and a lot of regeneration. They could actually counter us. With our poison here. But look at the damage. Gone kinda crazy here, actually. Our DPS has gone crazy. The poison doesn't even matter. We could literally take out the... <laughs> the Pandemonium here and actually be okay. We could take a Phoenix, but I'm not gonna take it as of right now. We could actually take a Lightsaber. I don't think it's actually worth it, though. I'm gonna reroll here. Could take a Glowing Crown. Glowing Crown actually sounds crazy good for us. However, I think it's just okay to actually just fit in more flames for our friendly fire. We're gonna be taking another chili though. And we are gonna be taking this little purse to finish off. As of where we're gonna fit this in, I would love to fit it in up here for another food item. However, we're not gonna be able to fit it in. Like so, we'll just have it down here then. But yeah, this is our final build here. Bit of a strange one. We had a pandemonium. Burning Sword, Tube City and Dragons, Friendly Fire, Chili Goobert. Yeah, Draconic Arbs, main things to have in the build. It's a lot of DPS and Obsidian Dragons. Yeah, they're pretty strong. However, we did use the Pandemonium to get us this far anyway. Right now, the Dragons are our main source of DPS. Stacking up a lot of heat. We're going to begin a Reaper class. We staff one healing here. Are we going to be able to deal with them? They are reflecting buffs back as. However, that was a lot of damage dealt to him because of our city dragons. However, we are stacking up a lot more debuffs than there. But yeah, actually, it's kind of worked out for us. We survived two lives left. And we got 14 rank points, which actually means it was worth doing the survival here. But yeah, this build wasn't terribly awesome. It was okay. There's probably better ways to do it. There's definitely better ways to stack up heat. However, I thought it might be interesting in trying to experiment with poison since we got offered the Pandemonium fairly early on. I was actually surprisingly more effective than I thought it was going to be. I know the Obsidian Dragons did a lot of carrying too though. And so did the Draconic Arbs, guaranteeing those crits. But anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope you keep a lookout for the next one. See you next time.